Hello everybody, welcome back to South Street Odyssey. So I've leveled up, up to 18. And now we're gonna go help this guy with snakes. Uh, how do I get in there? Probably climb up. Hello, sir. Do you need any help? Oh, shit. Bam. Is that it? That was easy. I needed to be level 18 for that. Really? Come on. Blessed be the god that sent you here. I'd have been eaten alive if it weren't for you. I don't think they'd eat you. But they would have certainly killed me. So thank you. My life-saving services aren't free. Of course. Pay up. Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. Do you often get tied up and surrounded by snakes? How can you joke about this? Thugs broke into my home, dragged me here, tied me up and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! Oh, the snakes tied you up, huh? Uh... Where are they? Where should I look? I couldn't see their faces, but I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. They're regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. Okay. Thank you. I'll track them down, Metilhos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. Alright. Thanks for the money. Have fun picking up these disgusting creatures. The part of Athens I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. It be they got water everywhere. Somewhere. Oh, shit. Snakes. <laughs> I'm fine. Snakes? Like the ones that were meant to kill Metiochos. Must be a clue. Alright. Oh, something else back here. What is this? Snake bites. And someone hid the body. Oh. Though I have a feeling this death was an accident. When you said snake bites, I thought you meant like a treat. Like doggy bites, but no snake bites. It looks like the thugs who attacked Metiochos weren't the masterminds behind this plot. Now's the time to strike. Nope. Oh. Okay, I was gonna read that. This must be the house of Metiochos' attackers. But the letter proves they're just tools in someone else's plan. Whose? What the fuck are you doing sniffing around my house? You attacked Metiochos. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and the body. All here. Ah, oh, poor Actis. We all knew the risks. Chains don't happen without a bit of blood being spilled. I know someone gave you those snakes. They used you to do their dirty work. I want to know who. He's a real hero of Athens. No puppet of Pericles is going to stop him. I'll be direct. Tell me what I want to know, or I'll cut you down right now. Your cause will be forgotten, and so will you. All right, all right. He's got a camp just outside the walls. Sells his snakes from there. All right, get out of here. It's not too late to make a difference, but we have to work together. Maybe you're right. You didn't have to show us mercy. But where do we start? Start here. This district is your home. Ignore the politicians and concentrate on where you can make change. Thank you. We will try. I need to rid Athens of this snake seller. I wasn't going to kill him because I thought, like, it would look bad for me. But then I remember now playing Red Dead and you don't get wanted whenever you kill someone. Really two different games playing at the same time right now. Are you the snake dealer? Is there anyone else around you? Nope, just him. Ah, oh boy. That's not gonna do much. Okay, let's go with this then. Oh shit, snake! Whoa. Okay, I was gonna try to do that in the first place. Is that a euphemism? Shit, he's fucking me up. Some fire.
Please heal, please heal. God damn it. Please don't die from poison. God damn, okay, this guy is tough. He didn't even stab me, he broke my arm. That was bullshit. Oh, now he's hiding over there, isn't he? Alright, let's try this. Overshot it. Shit. How did that not hit him? What? Sure about that? Bring it. Have fun getting hit by me all the way over there. Oh, he's got one too, I forgot. Bow fight. Shit, shit. What are you trying to prove? Just die. Oh, thank you. Damn, we got some epic shit. Poison dagger, nice. I'm gonna let all your snakes starve. They don't got no master anymore. Yeah, I did the thing you want. Looks like your situation's improved since we last met. The danger has passed for now. But while those monsters are out there, no one is safe. You're talking about snakes this time? fishermen tied you up. They were being used by a snake dealer working for enemies of Athens. What did you do with them? I showed them the error of their ways and sent them on their way. They won't be bothering you again. I'm glad no blood was shed, but how do you know they won't return? No, I won't. I made it very clear that doing anything stupid would make me angry. Well, that and you don't want to see Cassandra when she's angry. Thank you for your help, Mistios. I'll be sure to mention this to Pericles. Sweet. That's everything Pericles wanted. All right. Time to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother. It's about time. I've been wondering about her since like part three. The hell was that? How'd I do that? That was awesome. Aren't you the guy against Pericles? I'm gonna help him for now. Thanks for the offer. Ah, uh, shut up. Pericles, where are you? That statue does not have a nipple. Cassandra, it's you. How the fuck did you get here? You said you weren't coming back to Kefalonia, so I decided to leave too. I said I wouldn't be coming back, but I don't remember saying you should leave. Well, here I am. Oh, it's a good thing you didn't uh, get sick. Uh, how the hell did you get here? How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some drachmi working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe... I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. Well, I just no can't shit. believe you, you wouldn't be here if they did. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. I know, people but are what dying are you there. Doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. Why? So you somehow work here for Pericles? No, for Aspasia. Who? Uh, why do I have to change? I don't understand why I have to change. This armor is Just cool. What you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. I like scaring people, that's well, the best part. Alright. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that Then anyway. give me my clothes! The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. 
I won't. No, I will. Okay. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I better be there. I'll slap a bitch. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. Ah, oh, great. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I don't I'm know. Struggling to think of any right now. Social Are you sure situations. I keep just it's the worst. Weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. <sighs> just like get a piece of wood. Shove it down your dress somewhere. Here, Cassandra. How'd you get her? The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. It's our role. Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. Everyone? They may not look it, There's a lot of people this here. Group holds the way to the future on the tip Thanks for of that. Opinionated tongue. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They I mean, I probably can. They locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, Euripides. <laughs> Hilarious. It looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Ermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Prodagoras, How is that wine not is a spilling? sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Yeah, I met him. I'm not sure great is the term I would use. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. Is he wearing shoes? And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Why? Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Yeah, me too. Can we go get him? Vile Socrates. Who is this? Always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Okay, have fun. That was awkward. <clears throat> uh, let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. Yeah, don't so, worry about it. Push me down this whole bowl. What does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? Can I leave now? This is going to be a long night. Party should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere. You just said I he isn't. Prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. 
Uh, you don't leave me. You're leaving me alone with these people? <laughs> You'll do fine without me, I promise. Just relax, talk to the others, and focus on finding your mother. Take me with you. Social. No. Social anxiety. It's taking over. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Okay, I'm good. Oh boy. Alright, what's this? Hello, where are you? I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with every Pedis. How'd you know? I really want to, but I gotta focus on my mother. Spare me. I'm only looking for clues to help me find a Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. Oh, thanks for nothing. You could talk to every Pedis. He's the second most worldly man here. That ridiculous Xanthodontus exothalmic monster. Those aren't even words. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. Because you just made it all up. So we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argiv than Athenian. Impressive foreigner. Every Pidis is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You'll need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every Pidis is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. Okay. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. So something sweet? Alright. Wine could be useful in getting him to talk drunk. Who are you? Save for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? Do I want the sweet wine or the dry? He said a different name. Why were we talking about the other guy? Oh, fuck, I don't know. I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. Alright, fine then. Jeez. Okay. What is this? Olive oil. Alright. What wine should I give him, fuckhead? How's every pedis? Drunk, I hope. You're awfully worked up over every pedis. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every pedis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with that banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. Who is are you talking about? I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot Who the stand fuck is that? that I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. I see the guy next to him? A new face in Pericles is Okay, above. that guy. Ha, that in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? Did you just call me it? Watch your mouth, Athenian. It speaks, and so feisty too. Sometimes have some of this wine. Doomed to be the only young and beautiful thing here. So. What do they call you? Cassandra. Hmm. I wouldn't beg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. Those people could pronounce I'm my name. Aristophanes. And this man is every this. Oh, go on. Introduce yourself. I'm every this. I can tell. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old every this likes to say. Don't you every this? When I need to okay. relax, I start a fight. For you, though. Quickly, 
bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? When I say you, do I mean this guy or the other asshole? Let's do this. You and Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea. Every pity seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we are gives drink. Right. Let's conjure Dionysus, shall we? Enjoy. This... this is pure swill. Amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round! Alright. Ready for more? I think I got a little more drunk before I can ask about my mother. Yeah, I can hardly stomach this pig's piece. Then drop I out. Drink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. You ready for another? That evil eye she's giving him when she's pouring it. Oh. Wine is, dead is that the wine or blood? You, I like you. <laughs> Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? I'm not talking she to you. She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every pities, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know, it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. Man, you're as bad as Marcos. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. All right. Got all I needed to know. Why do I need to talk to you? How's every pedis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every pedis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Tell him yourself. Alright. Should I keep doing quests in here or can I leave? What's this? Is that a goat? That's there's a goat in there. Someone's being hurt. No. Open this door or I'll kick it in. Oh, 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 don't, don't mind her. She likes to watch. Mm. Look at you. Oh no. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? Why did I knock it on the store? Like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. I doubt She's it. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. Oh yeah, well, I already got it. I come bearing gifts. 
We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? No. Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. She did. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Prostitutes? This is serious. They don't like being called that. And for good reason. They offer so much more than their bodies. Do they though? Such as... These women are companions, counselors, confidants. Powerful men come to the Etera asking for advice and value their words more than those of their closest friends and advisors. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Hopefully we don't. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. Alright, do I have all the info I need? Can I leave? Uh, what is this? Socrates? Mm. Ah, if it isn't the one who agrees that knowledge is most important. Did I say that? I think we agreed. Her use of that knowledge couldn't be more different. Ah, you remember. Perhaps our conversation can continue. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? If you've been arguing this long and you haven't agreed yet, just give up. We're discussing the nature of rulers. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't what? be absurd! This argument between you two is pointless. Perhaps. How do you define art? I'm not getting dragged into this. Very well. Answer this. Does the artist not give form and symmetry to her subject? Well, yes. Laws and justice do much the same for people, do they not? And is there any better way to communicate the story of a people than by revealing its customs and laws? If yes, then ruling, and thus justice, must be an art, as Thrasima says. If you say so. I fell asleep ten minutes ago. Who was that? What was the point of that? You shouldn't be too hard on Socrates. Oh. He really has a brilliant mind, even if he comes off a little strong. He isn't always like that, is he? Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. 
That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. I will. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. I did what I had to, and I'd do it again. I make no apologies. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. And you can see for yourself. I'd be more comfortable in these clothes if I had a blade in my hand. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If that doesn't like work like that. Do it now and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Mirini, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. Can I borrow What's him? His name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Thank you. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. Okay, well, I really just gotta stop recording because I gotta go somewhere. So I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to down below, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the next part. Goodbye.